As the dean of the Carter School, uh, one of the things that really matters to us is our relevance for conflict-affected communities, whether this is in Arlington or Afghanistan. And M Education Alliance and a symposium, I think it's just the right platform uh, to think about different partnerships so that the impact of my school and its work can be uh, magnified by building partnerships. And I think this kind of alliance, which uh, is amazing in many ways, and uh, so I'm thinking that you know, it's a great opportunity uh, for my faculty, for my students, uh, to be part of this particular uh, initiative, this alliance, so that when it comes to uh, our work of conflict prevention, building peace, and engaging uh, in uh, matters of social justice in different environments, we can work together. So the, uh, at the Carter School, uh, which is, by the way, the oldest peace and conflict resolution school here in the US, and it's the largest one in terms of our uh, students at the, from the undergrad to grad and PhD, uh, and, and here at GMU, which is the, uh, the largest uh, public research university, most innovative and most diverse. And the reason I'm uh, mentioning all these facts, because they mean something in terms of um, you know, what we do at the Carter School and how that could be linked with the M Education Alliance. So uh, over the last couple of years, we founded a number of peace labs. So the idea is that to bring our faculty and students to work on critical issues of peace and human security. Uh, so just one example is the, the transformation of mind. So that's about how we can actually uh, get neuroscientists work with my faculty. So really just to focus on the role of emotions in peace processes. And another peace lab is working on the interface of peace engineering. So the idea is, well, um, you have engineers, people who develop technology, that's great, but how we can use that for conflict prevention and peace building more effectively. So um, I see uh, that uh, for the Alliance, our peace engineering work could be a great entry point for partnership. So um, this could be around STEM education. This could be uh, the education and training of engineers so they are more conflict sensitive you know, when they do their engineering work. Also, it's about the ethics of technology development. So there are many angles that the peace engineering pathway could bring a, um, a new mind shift, a new direction, thinking about education uh, really from uh, primary school to K-12 to higher education. So I'd like the Alliance to know about the Carter School with, with peace, peace engineering work so that we can really explore ways of working together. From this M Education Alliance Symposium, which is, I understand, the very first time here at the GMU and here in uh, Mason Square campus, um, my expectation is really uh, to have the opportunity of thinking collectively about global challenges. So the alliance uh, around education, I mean, obviously there are particular you know, concerns and, uh, and focus areas. But I want uh, dispute resolution, conflict resolution to be mainstreamed in everything we undertake. Because just imagine a world a world that dispute resolution is given to our children as part of their education from a very young age so that they are able to deal with their conflicts with the peers, with their family, with their communities, and then they are equipped with uh, being more effective citizens of the 21st century. So um, I think that's my expectation, to take this message to the M Education Alliance, and really with, the, with its members, with the participants of the symposium, think collectively how that can be done, because all the global challenges of peace and security we face today 
there is no way that you know we can do we can deal with them you know on our own this has to be a work that you know all these different um, uh, institutions individuals uh, and communities come together whether they are in private sector or civil society or is in the government or whether they are working in locally or internationally whether you know that uh, their area of work seemingly quite you know unrelated somehow but when you think about the the challenges of conflict and the issues of disputes we have I think that's the aha moment I want to take that aha moment to all Alliance members for them to thank us the conflict resolution the Carter school and its work not just a, a sideline issue but very much a central thing in all they do